Hi everybody, I'm in my studio here in Hamilton, Montana, and I'm going to be starting a couple of new large panels. I'm getting ready for a show, and my studio has all kinds of things going on. I've been actually working in four mediums over the last several months. And right now I'm going to be working in mixed media, which means that I'm going to start some panels with um, acrylic, and my panels are coated with white acrylic gesso, um, and I uh, we'll share sort of with you how I get started. I'm not going to be thinking too hard. I'm going to be playing and putting on a lot of marks and a lot of color, a lot of shapes. Um, and later, if I decide to switch over to the cold wax medium, I will show you how I would do that. And there is kind of a way that you can ensure that the uh, adhesion is good between acrylic layer underneath and uh, future cold wax oil layers on top. And that is to coat the surface with Liquitex Clear Gesso. I thought I would mention that now because if I don't continue on with cold wax and oil over this surface that I'm starting today, then you'll at least know that it can be done. It doesn't mean that you mix the acrylic with the cold wax and oil. You'd never want to do that. But you can certainly do an underpainting in acrylic, play with that as long as you like, and then if you decide that you'd like to switch over to cold wax and oil, then just make sure that you would put the clear gesso over the top. It's very gritty and super absorbent. And that's a surface that the cold wax and oil really likes to sit on top of. So that there's no problem of um, adhesion, uh, problems between the acrylic layer that's dry and the, um, the cold wax and oil layers that you put on later. So I hope you enjoy this video. It'll be in real time and I'll be working both on the floor and on the wall. And I don't know if these two pieces will remain together as a diptych, but that is how I'm working on them right now. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.